Ronin. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and uh, to this particular mini-series where I play Door Kickers 2 while employing real-life CQB tactics uh, that I've learned by playing Airsoft and other Milsim games. If you'd like to skip to the execution or even the, the review phase, please feel free to do so. It would be nice uh, to, uh, to see you there. But uh, for those of you who would like to stay and see introductions uh, and all uh, that shiz, uh, I actually I am planning something completely different uh, for this uh, for this episode, next episode, and another one, a bit of a three-parter. The difference is, as you can see, the map is vast. We are in a war zone. We are not uh, dealing with um, isolated compounds that we're clearing with our operators today. Our Final Fantasy squad is starting a campaign of three different missions. In this particular campaign, we are to eliminate all terrorists and to take this bridge. It's a war zone, meaning that we have to be uh, aware of a lot of different angles. The game is going to be played completely differently. But before we go uh, on, I would like to also notice a note that in this particular uh, mini-series, where uh, 1, 2 and 3, uh, if an operator goes down, they stay down. As in, I'm not going to be employing them again uh, in mission number 2 and 3, and should they go down in mission number 2, they'll also be out of commission uh, for mission number 3. So we're going to be approaching it a little bit more carefully and a little bit more uh, deliberately. But let's introduce us to the squad so what we have here is are the usual suspects i guess we have assault with ronin we have sid we have Renoa and zell then we have support uh squad machine gunners uh with sephiroth and kefka then we have two marksmen tifa and vincent i uh gave them uh, an m14 rifle and we have grenadiers uh safer and laguna the reason why i'm bringing uh, these uh, people, uh, especially marksmen and grenadiers, I'll explain a little bit later in the planning phase. Let's go to the planning phase. So, uh, this mission, as far as I'm concerned, uh, is consistent of four different phases for me. So it's one, two, three, and four. Beautiful writing. So, one is, first of all, we need to secure this building here. Uh, then we need to secure this bridge and uh, then we're gonna clear this building on top and this building uh, on the south as well so it's building one two and three for the future my plan is to contain uh, this area as much as possible while I'm clearing out this building as in we're gonna uh, run containment first potentially placing our operators here uh, looking this direction making sure that this bridge is not moving anywhere and also we don't have any unexpected and unwanted people coming from here or here or even a, a placement here and I'm assuming there's going to be someone here and here also we need to be very aware of this area here and these uh, sandbags right there uh, so once we've positioned ourselves uh, quite in a way that where we can contain this particular area we are going to assault this building you can see it's a bit of, it's a shop I think so there will be lots of civilians uh, so we're gonna be uh, clearing it quite carefully uh, there's this back garden a back garden as well that we need to be uh, clearing out I think and we are covered by this wall so our movement uh, right here will be um, unnoticed hopefully from that bank of the river once this is clear uh, we are going to move and clear this bridge by moving very carefully very deliberately watching our angles here and making sure that everything is clear uh, to uh, um, approach through this bridge into the positions and make uh, sure that we're ready to assault building number two and we're going to employ our previous tactics. We're going to contain this building here while assaulting this building. And then once it's clear, uh, we only then we're going to move and take building number three. Uh, because then we will be, uh, it will be secluded and we can just approach it as per usual. So, let's get cracking. 
So we already see one insurgent here. We're going to make sure that they don't. Sh my operators don't shoot without a prior kind of go, because I want to position ourselves in a way where we can deliver as much damage as possible uh, from the very beginning. So we can see one already there. Um, uh, it's nighttime and we have night vision. So this green hue basically means that we can see what's happening. So let's move our marksman here. So we have one more uh, person we see here. An insurgent machine gunner, so we need to be quite careful. We have an insurgent grunt, so we need to be uh, aware of this person there as well. And we're gonna bring our machine gunner for support. Let's make it our Sephiroth. We have a civilian here, so we need to be very careful. Okay, so we have two insertions confirmed, two emplacements that are a question mark. I'm gonna have our grenadier here so we can uh, attack those emplacements when we need to. Let's bring our Vincent here so he can take care of this little nuisance over there. So we positioned ourselves uh, here so we can deliver quite a lot of damage. I'm going to take my Grenadier and place him where he can be of more use. So let's see, Tifa can shoot here and there but we're still not sure what can be happening in another direction so let's take our idea here behind cover all right slowly 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 all right so now, my Grenadier, you are going to be shooting into this position, but we're going to put it on Alpha. We have our... Let's go another Grenadier, actually. Okay, let's just do it. Okay. We are not quiet any longer. Let's release my guys. He just shot without me actually saying okay to that. Insurgent, rocket insurgent right here, but he's being very inaccurate. Okay, we've contained this area pretty significantly. We have one injury here, but he's okay. Reload. Oh, somebody else went down. I think it's the insurgent here. Let it breathe. Four, three, two. One. Okay. We're holding this. In fact, let's see if we can 
grenade launch. A little more into this position, just in case. Okay. So now let's do the assault part. Quite happy with my. Um, uh, I'm quite happy with my uh, position right now. We are covering quite a lot of the situation here. Let's reload. We're okay here. We're okay here. You said I'm going to be ready. We have one grenade here Loading. as well. Okay, let's. So we're more familiar with this. I think those are civilians. Okay, good. Okay. This courtyard is okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to uh, place uh, Renoir here uh, to cover these windows and with Zell, I'm going to break those windows and make sure that everything is hunky-dory. Okay, we can see uh, through the window quite clearly. I Okay, good to go. this window as well. In fact, let's bring my guy here so we can cover this area. Empty. Just in case, buy it. Empty. Okay, good. And then, last but not least, this off. This is empty. You, my friend, are going to cover this. And then you open this door. Empty. Okay, good. So we've cleared now uh, quite a lot of this building without encountering any resistance, uh, which I was kind of expecting because it's a civilian kind of place. Uh, and now let's go and reach this door. because I don't want to go ballistic, uh, going ballistic because it's too loud. Uh, but I also I don't want to waste any uh, explosives. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go this way and you myself are going to pipe. Okay, I'm quite happy with this. Now, Reno, are you going to look here, I'm going to risk it and open this door. Okay, so far so good. Now we only have this uh, little secluded area here. That's okay. Let's clear that. Okay, how do we approach this? What do you have? We have a door. We have a, uh, um, slap charge. I think we're just gonna do it this way. Placing charge. Okay. Okay, one down. This is good. We still have this area here. So how do we do this? Let's flashbang it. Nope. 
less than lethal. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Let's grenade it. Smoke them out. Okay. And then, let's take control of this situation. Okay, this is clear as well. So this building so far is doing quite well. Now, uh, we still have this window here. And this here, and uh, not window, sorry, this room here and here. And um, if you look at this window, it's actually a perfect position for our uh, machine gunner to take uh, point, in a sense, to take cover here and make sure to contain this area. There seems to be lots of question marks. So I am going to be doing that. But in order to get there, we have to go through this light, which I'm not a big fan of. But let's not think about it just now. We need to make sure to get back to our comrades here. Okay, let's go. And while this is happening, we need to make sure to clear more of this area. So, what do we do? Vincent, you're gonna move here. You're still in the dark, so they can't see you. We have our Laguna who is injured, but. In fact, I'm just gonna grenade this part because I have no idea what's there. Holding. Yeah, why are you not doing this? Come on, man. Okay. Alright, good one. So the question marks were a good sign. Why are you not moving? Is there a bug? Oh, come on. <laughs> that was a waste. Alright, now it's bugged out, I think, a little bit, but it's okay. We have Laguna covering this area, but instead of him, I'd, like, I'd like to have my um, marksman doing that instead. So we have this area kind of contained. Um, we also need to make sure that this is contained, so let's see. So we don't know what's happening here. I wonder if you can need this part. No, we can't. Not, not safely. Okay. Let's go with Ronin. It's your time to shine. And also sit. We avoid light as much as possible. Banks. We have smokes, okay. Who has smokes? You have smokes. So, uh, what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna smoke this area out so we're not exposed to uh, any kind of anyone who's on the bridge will not be able to see us, especially from this area. So, we can actually safely enter this particular building. Let's go. Alright, now I'm actually quite happy going and engaging that. Let's get our machine gunner. Kevka, you're going this way. But you're bolting it. Alright, 
perfect. So far, so good. Now, let's have... here quite a wide angle so anything that is happening here and anything that's happening here so far so good phase one is complete now I'm gonna go to phase two which is very smooth actually if, I, if you don't mind me saying that we're gonna now move through this bridge which is the most dangerous part as far as I'm concerned because we've never done that before like building clearing is absolutely fine but Unfortunately, I'm not too familiar with uh, um, more kind of open warfare thing. So I need to be very careful. We have a lot of support from a number of angles. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see too much. The only thing is I'm worried about this here. So let's uh, move very, very, very carefully. All right, let's go. And you're gonna run. You're gonna cover this distance as fast as possible and you also are gonna run this. Let's go. So I have three assaulters and I'm gonna bring one as well. Uh, just in case so three assaulters now we're gonna move through here I have to be very careful for this area and this area here so let's bring a grenadier as well who's not injured yeah, they're all injured okay no before that let us move of the angling here if I end up in this area not covered uh, I think it's going to be a nightmare so let's bring a grenadier unfortunately I'm gonna pull you off I know you're injured you have grenades you have flashbangs smokes you have less than lethal I should have Okay, you have grenades and you have grenades. Okay, good. Surgeons here because the uh, containment works magic, and our uh, marksmen are doing a really good job as well. Okay, let's okay, you're gonna reload. So that was a good throw, and then we'll try again this way. Okay, 
another guy and also blew up something. Alright, so my theory was correct. This here area and this area were hot. So we can now move potentially a bit further in. Making sure that we're not... Exposure, I think it's okay because we have these people covering us from the north. So far, so good. Fairly smooth. Oh, good. That's why containment is important. Alright, I'm still worried about this angle here. So far so good, we've taken half of the bridge and we've uh, managed to keep ourselves fairly safe. So this, we're gonna keep moving forward. I know this is risky, but... So now we have uh, we're gonna have to move around cover, make sure that we're safe. Okay, right. Uh, now this is the difficult part because this threshold here, uh, we need to make sure uh, to go through here and here while maintaining uh, cover of this building here and we still have a nasty person there potentially in fact let's get rid of that nasty person i wonder if we have anyone here oh no okay let's bring our second grenadier here very certain it's safe Injured man, but you need to step it up. It's covered from multiple sides. Gotta go this way. Nobody. Okay. And one more, just for the sake of it. Nobody. Okay. So those question marks are useless at this point. Okay. Let's bring in our uh, the rest of the assault team and our okay let's go Watch 
Okay, whoa, that was dangerous. I, uh, it's good. We haven't hurt, lost anyone yet. Wow, that was, uh, that was just bad. We got injured. Sid. And we have Zell and Sid are injured, but we managed to get rid of this idiot here. This is clear, as far as I know. So let's move in. Gonna have to go a little bit more aggressive here. Our assault team is gonna be in danger. But we're covering it quite a bit. This area I'm not that concerned with. I'm worried about this deep corner here. In fact, let's just do it this way. Just throw a smoke here. This will allow us to move a little bit closer to the objective. Okay, let's go. Right, we need to make our entry here, so very, very deliberately buying things off there. Oh, we're gonna be very. Um, dynamic here. It's the first time I'm doing it this way, but I think we need to do this quite quickly. Let's go. Who died? Oh, Sid is gone. What? Ah, oh, come on, man. Why didn't you shoot? Did I just miss an angle? Oh, man. Okay, Sid is gone. Sid is gone, unfortunately. And this is the way it's gonna work. As I said, this is the way we're playing it today. Sid is gone. Should have done, uh, should have gone with better planning. Better angle support, but hey, man, ah, oh, dynamic my ass. Okay, okay. The only reason why I'm reloading now is because we have guns uh, here. Uh, I'm not risking anymore. We're throwing a flashbang here. Cover here. Ronin. Go this way. Ronin, you are throwing another flashbang because I'm not risking it. Okay. Good. So far, so good. Okay, what we've learned is that we're okay actually bringing another assaulter here. We don't need to cover any more of this, so I'm gonna bring soldier this way just to support them and you're bolting it Oof, okay missed a lot of action I think but that was good good shooting perfect okay so you're gonna cover it together or did you really this way. And it was almost perfect. How many did you? We dropped one, two, three, almost four people here. Ronan, you're getting a medal. Sid, honestly, so sad. Bad positioning. Continue working this. I don't need you here anymore. You can move up. You also don't need to be here anymore. You're moving up here. And 
once they're in position, we're gonna go further. As well so so far so good at this particular building the room number uh, two is almost clear we don't actually need any more uh, machine gun support I'm gonna pull them to the bridge to provide more support and more guns this way now we're almost set to uh, uh, go to building number three however I'm wondering much we can do here. Alright, so we have Ronan posted here, he's completely covered. We have Minoa covering his back with this There you go. That's how it's done. Thank you, another two out. Okay, I have some question marks here, so let's see if we can just smoke them out right here. Perfect, okay, another guy is down and he's actually a suicide bomber. We don't need another gun here. No, uh, so Zell, you're going to go back to your buddies. Let's open this door. Go back this way. So we have anyone who's running this direction here is caught. And now we are all set to stage an assault in this particular building. Let's go. Okay, looking deep. It's covered by the flanks. Our uh, the side uh, the bags are covering us, so we're gonna go in now. Do we have any more assault people? No more assault people. So let's do it this way. 
gonna move you guys here. Here, okay, let's just go a long way out. You know, once uh, once uh, Sephiroth is in position, I'm gonna position. I'm gonna move you back. I know it's tedious, but we need to stage this properly. soldiers soldiers that are working pretty well. Covering the southern part and also this window here, so should anyone appear, it's they're gonna go down. Ronin. our way. So far so good. Ronan you did your job really well. Someone there. 
exit here. I'm not worried about this, so let's bring another gun here. So now we have some dead zones here that I'm not very happy with. Might bring in one more person. Okay, we are running out of options here. Now let's circle a little bit more. one guy here.
not smoking, so we need to stop wasting our time. Let's go. risking it now because we are running out of equipment so now for sure we know there is one person there and before we can move on to this I would like to deal with the known threat first so let's go okay take a shot but the plate caught it. It was risky, it's a one man clear but fairly certain it's okay. Right, I'm just gonna post here just in case if anyone goes this way. Now we've contained this complete uh, building almost entirely so it's time to stage our assault on the building that is to the north. So we're gonna bring up our resources now are equal now. I'm gonna deal with this later. Now completely set to assault this building while containing this building here. Okay, we don't need two people here. We don't have the both grenadiers. We have nothing. We have two more. Let's go. Just grenade this first. That's our first move here. Oh, the window is just made out of Kevlar, it seems. Let's go and flank this. And we're gonna go approach this. 
side. dynamic it's more than it's usually it's faster than I am used to and comfortable with the door is open so we need to be quite careful in this area, not risking any more lives. It's definitely empty. I mean, whoever survived this is a superman. This building is clear, now it only leaves us with this little toilet here. Which what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna risk any more of my troopers. I'm just gonna blow it up from the outside. Unless we missed it somewhere else in this toilet as well. No way I'm risking any more entries. actually worked according to almost exactly how I planned it. Oh, are we placing charge or not? In fact, no, let's place the charge here, my friend. And it will just blow up anyone who's there. Placing nice charge. It's a good buy. Charge in position. Whatever happens here is down. Okay, no one was there, so we're placing charge in this toilet now as well. So let's bring our machine gun our second one. Where are we, my friend? No more. Where did I leave you, man? <laughs> okay, let's go. Now 
let's go. And you're running, my friend. I'm gonna train. I'm gonna make sure that this is all. So we can move quite freely here now. Because I think I know exactly where they are. So if anyone to leave this area, I'm just gonna cover it this way. Goodbye. There you go. We freaked him out and that's what happened. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, this was insane. We uh, pacified 48 hostiles and let's see how it went in real life. Sid is gone though. Let's just do it without this. Let's go real life, real time. see that we are now staging the area properly so we can actually uh, get as many eyes on our insurgents as possible. There's one here. There's one here. And we have Tifa and we have Sephiroth ready to go. I made a mistake by uh, basically releasing the fire uh, earlier than I expected but it worked out fairly fairly well. So we have, uh, this car is a good cover for us for now, it provides quite a bit of support here, so that's why I play safer here. Our uh, Vincent, who is, I think it's his, one of his first missions, uh, okay, that was a mistake. Oh, oh, no. That was one hell of a firefight with So we already got rid of a bunch of insurgents here and uh, two of two uh, RPG uh, people as well. So now we're ready to go. Our stack is ready. I was just getting it just in case. Civilians are out, which is a good thing. All right, our stack is moving in. Without the green hue is actually much easier, but... Yep, making sure that this room is clear. As you can see, I'm covering. Entry. Not creating too much noise, which was a good call at the end because there were guys here. Holding. Placing charge. This building was almost done basically, but we didn't know that yet, but this also was clear as well. So we're collapsing the stack. That's supporting Mike, Mike going this way, ending this guy. I think, yeah, there was a bug I think there, because I actually wanted to do just once, using this uh, roadblock as cover. Uh, yeah, we needed to cover our, uh, conceal our movement. The difference between cover and concealment, concealment uh, does not provide you with cover that stops uh, things flying at you. It's, it just stops people seeing you, so it's concealed. Alright, so, a bit of a flashbang there. This had to be very, very um, fast. Again. And that was 
was it. So now we positioned our machine gun where we want it to be, and it played an amazing uh, role here in uh, helping us secure building number two. Now we're moving to phase two, which was taking the bridge, um, bringing in more troops, and then we had set taking point. More people reacting to what we're doing. So we have now um, I've created a bit of a squad, a stack of four here, and we're moving. We have to be very deliberate, very careful. We we have suicide bombers here as well. They're running towards us with the vests. Grenading it. Didn't go that well. Oh, it did actually. I forgot about that. Yeah, we got one. And another one just in case here. Also worked fairly, fairly well. further in. Yep, that's why our Vincent here is a hell of a shot. Now here I had to be very very careful as well because we are about to uh, cross this threshold of the bridge and this is actually as you know where I lost Sid. I needed to bring more people in, I didn't have enough firepower to cover all of the angles. Laguna, we have safer here, we have Zell, now the port you might, might going nowhere, because question marks, but I just wasted them to be honest, but it's better to be safe rather than sorry, and then we're bringing Rinoa and Tifa uh, further into the fray. So we have Zell who's taking a uh, big appointment here, exploring the angles. Sit just in case of a flash there. He was already injured by the machine gunner, it was very lucky. But I can't believe that my grenades didn't work. He was very lucky there. So I decided to conceal my movement a bit further. She have done it earlier to be honest with you. Now there. Why was he shooting? I have no idea. Maybe I was moving in front of him or... It's just bad. It's just bad, bad, bad luck. Lost the trooper here. I wasn't taking any more chances here. Flash out! So here we had a number of people running, I won't just, yeah, it's just uh, suicide bombers galore, about three of them I think, and another guy just went down here, because containment works. Now we could actually uh, cross, uh, commit more people to cross the bridge uh, in order to provide uh, support to our troopers who are assaulting the building. Flash out! someone yeah, another one down okay, replacing him opening the door
door, I did it on purpose in order to uh, see if anyone was going. So I was afraid of actually a suicide bombers that may be coming uh, this way and I can't see them. So as soon as they open the door, they'll blow up and two of those operators are gone. So I needed to uh, open uh, to have my eyes there. Placing them uh, with Kefka and uh, Sephiroth. Actually, let's skip this a little bit because it's a bit too long. Yep, this is what's happening. Yep, yep. Now we're in a position to continue the assault here. So I had to be very, very careful with the angles Place here. Charge. I should have placed it in the door, which I missed completely, but there you go. Waited for a bit of a response. As you can see, we're covering this window here and any south approach from the south. Morning is doing a bulk of this work here. Decided to do it by himself is not the thing. Okay, grenade missed us. He's lucky. But I think he got shot just before he threw it. So here we had one more person we saw, but it was just a bit too uh, I guess too invisible for us in a sense. Tried to flush him out. He ran appear anywhere and you run back so didn't work so instead of wasting our time here decided to see if I see any other angles here but oh no it's just lucky I think it's because nighttime you couldn't see us It's not enough troopers. Uh, we need more Place people for this kind of stuff. I would have probably need three times more than what I brought, but here you see I'm covering behind and in front of us here. So it's okay, this toilet is clear.
It's quite risky, but... So, he's there. I can't believe he wasn't hit, but it's just... I don't know what stickers are for in this game. That was it. Now we only have this toilet here. And we are now staging ourselves to assault building number two. Uh, the... Uh, the eastern side of it. I just skip a little bit because it took us a little bit of time. We're almost positioned. Oh, hello. No, let's not miss the. Oh, hello. Okay. There you go. Don't miss any action. There you go. Careful, I didn't want to lose any more troopers like poor Sid here. So I used as much, as both like as many uh, rounds or as much ammunition and grenades as I could. Okay, good. Different angles. There's, there's no way. So anyone could have survived this. Entry, taking points of domination and moving forward. Okay, no work here. And now, all we have to do is blow up two toilets. One here. Placing charge. Actually, I made a mistake, I think. Yep, moved it too quickly. So, but in the end, it was actually better to place it where I'm going to place it. Placing charge. sure to put as many guns on it as possible. It's done. Nothing remarkable. Even if there was somebody here, there would have been dust at this point. like the coward he is. So we made sure that there was no exits for him. All we needed to do is just Place charge. freak him out and that was it. This is it. Uh, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it was one hell of a mission, just part one out of three. Sid is gone unfortunately, so he is not going to be joining us in the next mission. But for now, uh, I'm going to continue this little campaign in part two. Until then, running out. Bye-bye.